So, how is everyone today? And so, today we are going to be learning something very quadriceptively amazing to the fifth quadrant of awesome. And it is going to be... YouTube! Yes! YouTube! Ah, uh, did you hear me right? Yes, you did hear me right! And if you didn't, I'm going to say it again. YouTube. We are going to learn something on YouTube together because learning alone is so boring actually it's the best way to learn so stop watching this video right now and just go teach yourself <laughs> all right no really um we are going to be j about Justin Bieber today now we are going to be learning about how to implement and I spelled it wrong implement a a a a um rss feed into your website uh, we're not going to be learning that today i'm afraid what we will be learning though is <clears throat> how to launch photoshop i'm not joking i'm very serious <laughs> You just go down here to where it says Adobe CS4, blah, 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 or Adobe, whatever program that you have, CS3, CS2, CS8.0. <laughs> no, but um, we're going to go and we are going to create a new file and uh, 10 by 6, 7, 6, 4, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's fine. That's a fine size. All righty. Well, the size of a traditional computer screen by the, I guess, what most people use nowadays. But now they're all going widescreen. And we are going to search for an image of a bird. And yes, thank you. Did you mean Google? Yes, Google. I did mean an image of a bird. And so, oh, you look like a really cute bird. We're going to choose you, cute bird. And we're going to put you on the desktop. Okay, we're gonna put your right here. We're gonna just take it and just drag it over. Then we're gonna take it and drag it into Photoshop. Bam! We got a bird. Now all we need is a background for this bird. Yes? No. Yes? No? Maybe so. We are going to go and search for beautiful background. And so we go to images and we blah, 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 blah. Where is the beautiful background image? Here is one. No, 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 no. Let us find blah, 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 blah. I don't like any of these images. I don't like none, 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 none. You know, that could be a song. It's the none song. None, because I don't want nothing. None, because it's nothing about none. All right, I, I, my singing sucks, but it's all right, because we are going to be finding backgrounds that are beautiful, but we are not finding, because I didn't, I didn't spell it right. <clears throat> and I get the same thing. So it doesn't have to do with that. It just has to do with just typing in exactly what kind of background you're looking for. So we're going to search sunset background beach because I like sunset beaches what you got a problem with that no uh, I don't think that will work with that bird background we got let's take a look at that uh, we're basically gonna take out these uh, portions around him uh, because this is a tutorial to teach you how to implement a background or a a figure, an object, a thingamajig into any background, uh, which is, you know, something most people try to do but don't exactly get because it's just, it's so simple. It's just so simple to actually learn it. So, you need people like me just to show you how to waste time searching for images that I just don't personally like and yeah I need to get past that I need to get past that and I need to find just an image that uh, I could work with here and um, 
You know what? I'm just going to take some random image because I just cannot take it anymore. Um, yeah. I just cannot. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I just can't. Uh, I just can't, all right? I just can't decide right now. So we've got our image. We pull it out of the tab up there. And we have our bird image. We pull that one out. And we have this uh, which is the white background that we're looking for. We're going to take that with, uh, press the V the V key on Mac. I don't know about Windows, but, and then you just, uh, you just bring it over here. Sorry, you Windows guys. Um, you press uh, Command T, free transform tool, pull down, hold shift. If you don't hold shift, this is what's going to happen. You hold shift, uh, yeah, bring it down, yeah, whatever, fill it up. Um, because we stretched that image, it's not going to, it's going to seem a, just a little bit more, pixelated when you uh of course you zoom in you see it looks very ugly unfortunately but uh that's life what can you do um <clears throat> we're going to take this bird and we're going to put this actually you know what we're gonna we're gonna work with this bird first so uh to edit this bird we double click on background uh it's because it's locked now it's unlocked so now we can make it more uh editable and do whatever we want to it. We're gonna take this uh, quick selection tool. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, and then we are going to select uh, just about, you know, just around it, you know, just hold. Actually, don't hold anything, just get around him. We're gonna fix that up. Uh, hold Alt to negate the spaces that we don't want it to select. We want to keep that tree, that uh, piece of branch that this bird is clinging on to. Um, I need to make the brush size just a little bit smaller. Uh, okay, and we are now going to fill it back by holding the Alt key. I believe that would be, well, yeah, is the Alt key for Windows uh, option for Mac. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on, bring it back, bring it back, bring back the beak. And... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna select around it and then you know what this is just like a rough draft guys but really 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 you know it's not supposed to be this tough you know you know what the problem is you know don't even worry about that the problem the problem is just worry about me trying to show you something when I don't even know what I'm doing myself um, so we're going to select around here Blah, blah, blah. Wasting your time. Yes, I know. And I'm proud of it. No, I'm not proud of it. Um, And then we are going to hold. Uh, we're just going to press delete. And there we go. Uh, Command uh, D to deselect. And then, yeah, we kind of like cut up all around it. We're going to see how, uh, well, to fix that up, you know, you just take your eraser tool. And, oh, whoa. Way too huge here. We're bringing to bring down the brush size. Uh blah 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 around there ooh feathering is on too tough there huh we need to sharpen this up so let's bring up the hardness uh, bring it a little smaller um, to also help you you might want to zoom in you know that always helps um, yeah and then just you know cut around the fine-tuned areas that needs to be fined tuned ooh, why is flow on I'm not getting my cuts right yeah alright uh, yeah put that flow to 100% because it wasn't properly flowing the way I wanted to. So we cut a little bit of his beak off, whatever. Anyways, uh, hold press Z, uh, click uh, holding Option or Alt to zoom out. Uh, you can press V to get back that arrow. Drag on over. Bam! There we go. And uh, so we've got our image on our any background. And then we uh, hold Command T. Uh, actually, we just press Command T or whatever Control T, I believe it is on Windows. Hold Shift, pull um, from the anchor point, and adjust the sizing, of course. And then uh, we're gonna get the eraser tool here, and we're going to. No, we're not gonna do that. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take the magic wand tool because it makes everyone's life easier. And then you're just gonna select in there, and then you can press Delete. Then you're gonna select in there, and then you're gonna press delete again. And then you're gonna press uh, Command D 
to you know deselect it uh, to fix that up just what you're gonna do is hold you're gonna press Z key then you're gonna hold option and you're gonna zoom you know, actually you're not gonna hold option you're just gonna just gonna click because the plus on the arrow on the on the magnifying glass means to zoom in and then you are going to erase out the portions that you want to fully clean and now correct me if I'm wrong but if this is the harder way to do this kind of thing you let me know folks but for now this is the way I know to cut out any background and place it into any whatever blah 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 um, you see this is kind of messy here you you just gotta fix that up on your own I'm not gonna do that you're gonna do that if you want to fix up your image um, then we're gonna go to image you see we have two layers here in the layers palette we can adjust them multiply or we could flatten the image into one layer and then adjust everything all together or just put it into a folder but uh, we're gonna go to image adjustments uh, with the bird selected, we are going to go to replace color. Replace color, uh, you click on the bird and you could do all kinds of devious things to it, like darken him, make him brighter. Uh, you could change his color, his, his, his saturation, if he's a little too dull looking, you know, brighten him up. You can turn him into an alien or a very unique looking bird by changing its hue. Um, but why are we doing that now? Well, it's replacing the certain color that we selected. If you want to select more than one color, you press this plus over here. You see that plus? You 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 sample. Uh, you get more of a sample. You, you say you want this green to change color. You you click on that. Now that is also going to adjust, and it's going to add on to whatever else you selected. And there you go. You could you could hi you could highlight or you could uh select one portion of the image to change the color of it and not only can you do stuff like that but you can also say you know just make a copy of the bird and then you can add a filter effect to this bird uh whatever it is so uh yeah we're going to add a filter and it is going to be very cool so yeah uh, neon uh, plastic wrap uh smudge uh I'm trying to be as fast as I can, but you know, my preferences, it's so hard to choose sometimes that, you know, it's just ridiculous, but I'm just giving you an idea of things that you can do with Photoshop. Um, you know, that's pretty interesting, but yeah, well, we're going to choose that just for now. You add whatever effect you want. Then you take the eraser tool, my friend, the eraser, um, make the brush size as big as you want it. I uh, no. Uh, a little bit bigger for me, my personal preference. Bring down the hardness all the way. And then you can fade in the effect. So only the area that you want affected can you do these uh, that cool uh, effect to. And uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Remember, if you want to you know, adjust the whole image as a whole, you could either put this all into a group by selecting them all right clicking and choosing uh, merge merge layers or a uh, flatten image or uh, where is the fo oh you see this folder here you click on this folder down here it'll say create a create a new folder and then when you when you create that folder you could drag everything in there see look I created the folder it's in a group now um, there's nothing in the folder you select all of these images and then you just drag them into that group and bam they're all in the group now and then everything will get a you know what don't mind me you know just ignore everything that I just said I'm just gonna flatten this because I can't deal with that right now uh, flatten image alright everything is as a whole now and you can now uh, change everything all together from exposure you know you wanna make the image brighter and maybe not you wanna make it a little offset perhaps even a little bit brighter on the areas that has darker shadowy stuff or whatever you can do that yes you can also uh, you can just I could just stop this video because I'm wasting your time but basically that is the gist of it that is how you implement uh, one image into another background for you to uh, you know in a whole shift if you want to change it with the effect and move it around you know and uh, so, yeah, that's the basic thing about it. If I go too fast, rewind the tape. What else can I say? And we are going to stop here. Uh, how do you stop this?